really lived your whole life in Edgewater? Yeah, until the captain. Do you hear that? It's the blessed sound of radio silence, which leads me to believe you have sweet, sweet news for me. Yes, indeed. I am back in business. But before we get down to it, might I ask how you handled the problem in the end? We did what we could as best we could. Should probably leave it at that. Hmm, is that so? I don't know how. The two are diametrically opposed and impossible to please. But it matters not how you fixed my problem, only that you did. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver so I can input the needed adjustments. You make it sound so scandalous. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch with Nioka first, who I use as a physical go-between. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. Eternal no. What is wrong with you? Who would ever design something like that? However, you're welcome to brew me a Rizzo Insta Coffee from the staff kitchen on your way back. Just step outside. Flip the switch, depart forever. Understood? Good. Marvelous. We're in agreement. Yeah, yeah, we heard you the first time. Let's just get this over with. Terrific. I'll be here. Waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Help us secure that module and we will save our colony. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do so long as you leave me out of it. Which means, get off my void damn channel! I'm more than finished with you lot.
You sure we ought to go this way, Captain? Hey, here we go! Don't mess with the best! Keep an eye on things out here. I'll keep an eye out. Go on ahead, boss.
If the Iconoclasts reach that ship first, there won't be any chance for a peaceful monarch. I don't suppose you've found the targeting module yet. I've sent patrols, but they're running into trouble with the Iconoclasts. Well, because the module controls the weapons systems. Because once we mount them on Stellar Bay's walls, no Marauder or Raptodon will ever be a threat to us again. Gotta hand it to you, Sanjar. That ain't a bad plan. It's absolutely foolproof. Stellar Bay will be as secure as any other settlement in Halcyon. The point is, this weapon system would be a powerful advantage, and we can't risk the Iconoclast getting it. Look, Celia, she's being funny again. I don't think so, sir. Really? Well, I could have sworn... Well, well, that's not important. What is important is that there's a considerable distance between us and that ship, and most of it is inhabited by Marauders and Raptodons. Good, because we haven't a moment to lose. That's surprising. The board's equipment is usually in top shape. After all, they have first access to any fresh parts or components. A conspiracy? You've spent too much time around Graham. They're all mad! And what's more, they left us! I don't see any way for us to work together. Ugh, not this again. Remember what we practiced, sir. Yes. The words in those reviews were very hurtful, but they do not define me. I am a mantipiller, and my- You too? She has a point, sir, and it's not all bad. Supposing you're right, who exactly would you have me work with? The Iconoclasts are not the most compromising sorts. That's an interesting suggestion. I confess I don't know much about her except that she worked for Rizzo. I'd be willing to consider it, but I need to see her review first. Very well. I can't promise anything, but let's see what we have here. Well, it seems like she, uh, she's actually very qualified. I wasn't expecting to say this, but if you can put her in charge and convince her to agree to a meeting, I'd be willing to discuss terms. Hey, Captain. I need your help, and we ought to keep it hush-hush. You know about what happened here, right? The history of Amber Heights? I read about this in Thrilling Tales of the Frontier. Pirates raided Amber Heights. It was a real bloodbath. Right. Common belief is that the pirates fled to an old relay station that had already been abandoned, but nobody could find them. The station's locked up, but one of my people found an old data cartridge in a nearby wrapped nest. It's mostly corrupted, but I pulled a couple codes off of it. One is the code to the Amber Heights gate. I don't recognize the other, but it's similar. I bet it opens a door. Graham isn't fond of talking about the history here. He had friends who worked here. The massacre hit him pretty hard. You know him. Live and let live and all that. I don't want to burden him right now. Right. The access codes to Amber Heights. What gets me is, if this belonged to the pirates, that means they knew someone there. If someone gave them the gate code, all those deaths, Captain, all that blood is on their hands. Just a warning. The area is infested with mantisaurs. I'd send some help, but we're, you know, Preparing for war? I appreciate it. Here's the code. If it works, bring back anything you find. Supplies are best, but information's good too. If someone was behind the Amber Heights massacre, 
It'd give a lot of people around here some closure to find out who and string them up. Good luck. Watch out for the Taros. Welcome back. You find anything out there? Let's see. These are old. Looks like correspondences between the pirates. Some bits here, some there, some... Wait. This... This one's got the Amber Heights gate code on it. Just like the one I found earlier. And here's... A letter. Wait, this is from Graham. Oh, of all the... Captain gave them the gate codes. Yeah. He did. He really did. I know he's got his head in the clouds, but I always believed there was a core of good there. What the hell happened to live and let live? I always figured Mr. Bryant for a man of character. In the end, though? It was just another name on a long list of frauds. Yeah. He had us all fooled. Now I've got to sort out how to break it to the rest of my people. Look, I need to think. Plan. Figure out if I should talk to him or shoot him. Or both. Just don't give him the module yet. Give me a little time. I'll meet you at his place. Hey, boss. I want to talk to you. I can't believe I wanted to shake his hand. 
I need a shower. It makes you wonder if being a treacherous, two-timing coward is some sort of contagious disease, or if he was just born that way. At first, I liked what Graham was doing. The iconoclasts were going to change Halcyon for the better. But then, we found out Graham was behind the slaughter of Amber Heights. How can anybody so morally bankrupt lead a movement to transform the colony? Yeah, maybe you're right. You'd never do something like that, would you? Slaughter a whole community of innocents? Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's get back to it. I need to put all this ugly business with Graham behind me. The gunship. Have you secured its targeting module? Mount its guns to our walls or the walls of Stellar Bay. The board is coming, Captain, and these weapons will defend us from their blasphemies. Yes. My, how we've grown. From one disgruntled employee and his like-minded compatriots to the very movement you see before you. All right. The gunship. When I founded the Iconoclasts, I did so amidst the ghosts of this planet's past. Since then, many have asked me, why here? Were you involved in the massacre? Was that some gruesome plot to clear a path for my dreams? My response to you is the same as to all others. The death of MSI was an incidental tragedy. I'd have walked this path with or without it. I did no such thing. Their deaths came in the night while I slept in Stellar Bay. And regardless, we're discussing a past long since left behind. Those ghosts still haunt me. But they needn't curse my people. When the entire colony has embraced our truth, perhaps then the perpetrator will come into the light. Until then, it does us no good to dwell on past mistakes. If I were the type of man to make that decision, and I assure you, I am not, I'd have to be so obsessed with dismantling their regime that I'd turn to desperate measures. I have since learned that their mistakes will end them in time and that we will persevere where they do not. But back then, suffocating under that oppressive culture, I can understand a lesser man than myself making a terrible, ghastly mistake. Would you prefer I spend my days wallowing in misery and desperately seeking forgiveness for sins long past? I have people to lead, a home to keep. Here, without the shackles of the Halcyon board, we are free to grow as the universe intended. Had we fled with MSI, our spirits would have withered. You've seen that withering yourself. The colony is dying. The massacre of Amber Heights, unfortunate as it was, presented the slim possibility of saving the souls of Terra too. Here we are, poised to do just that. Free will is a double-edged sword, Captain. The universe judges us all. Whether your choices are helpful or harmful to the cosmos is not up to you. Those executives were found to be poisonous to the spirit of humanity. They were doomed, whether by the hands of man or beast, their time was coming to an end. And here I am, a paragon of the eternal truth, leading a society of like-minded people. The universe has found me worthy, despite whatever sins you believe I've committed. Let us speak no more of this, Captain. We have a message to spread and a colony to save. The gunship. Have you secured its targeting module? Take a walk, Captain. I'll find you once my head's on straight. Any luck bringing the Iconoclast to the bargaining table? I don't like the idea that they'll be trying for that module while we delay. Ooh, that's very good. I wish I could help, but I've never been very good at making presentations. 
I, uh... Ooh, I could work on a brief, if you think it would help your case. Excellent! I'll get to it straight away. It'll be a few weeks before it's ready, but one can't put a price on quality work. I don't suppose you've found the targeting module yet. I've sent patrols, but they're running into trouble with the iconoclasts. Captain, we should chat. Graham's got the right idea, but he isn't the right guy to execute it. I don't even think he's motivated by philosophism anymore. I think he's just guilt-ridden. I can't believe I'm even saying this, but I keep going over and over it in my head. And the only way I see the Iconoclast surviving is we depose him. Okay. Deep breaths. This is what's best, Sora. Time to save Monarch. Save Monarch. Captain, you must be back with the access codes to our new ship. Graham. We need to talk. We have work to do. This isn't the time for one of our spats. What? Sora? You're running the Iconoclast into the ground, and I don't believe it'll get better after we take Stellar Bay. The troops take orders from me already, and you've... You've brought me as far as you can down the Eternal Path. It's time to step down. The troops? Listen to you. This isn't an army. They aren't soldiers. They're believers. Followers. They pick up a gun because you tell them to, not because they want to. And you, Captain, after all you've done for me, for us, you throw behind this mutinous blasphemer? I built this movement from the ground up. I've brought freedom to Monarch, and all these years later, we're still free. I joined because I believed that you were in it for the Iconoclasts. That you wanted nothing more than to bring freedom to Halcyon. That you were selfless. But... I know the truth now, Grim. I know what happened in Amber Heights. You didn't start this movement because you wanted to save us. You wanted to save yourself. No. I've spent years atoning for my sins. I've studied, meditated, taught. I built the Iconoclasts so that any man could cast away his past for a fresh start. That's your answer, Graham? You needed a fresh start? After all those innocent lives? I'm sorry. I believed in you once. I did. But it's over. Stand down. I won't. What happened back then was a mistake, and the colony has moved on. This is my movement. These are my people. If you want to lead them, you'll have to kill me. Please, don't make me do this, Graham. If this is where my path ends, I accept it. But as long as I draw breath, I will not abandon them. So be it. Jackasses! <laughs> Captain, here we are. Killed a lot of people in the name of the Iconoclasts, and it never feels right. But this time, it's especially wrong. You've got the... Void help me. I'll never remember what that thing is called. I've thought about it, but... I think we're too far gone. 
pulling Carlotta's support was crossing a line. You know, Captain, I never thought about that. Maybe he could be taught the eternal truth, spread the message from within the corporations. All right, if he's willing to talk, I'll give him a chance. Well then, I've got to prepare a few just-in-case measures, but when you're ready, let's meet at the old OSI church outside Stellar Bay. Thanks for coming. I wish I'd had more time to prepare a proper analysis on the costs and benefits of your proposed union, but uh, I suppose we'll have to improvise. Gotta admit, I really thought I was walking into a trap here. I'm ready. If anybody can get these two shaking hands, it's you, boss. Sanja, Stellar Bay's got food and walls, and my people need both. If you'll have us, we're willing to share the space. Do you have any idea what that would cost? Why, drawing up the budget alone is going to take weeks. Though I admit I'd rather not. We've shed enough blood as it is. Is the only choice here between fighting and starving? We've got to be practical. So forceful. Hmm. You know I love your little displays. Perhaps I'm being hasty. <laughs> After all, I'm rather good with numbers. <laughs> I'm certain we can find a way to make this work. Captain, this might really work. Thank the Eternal. As poetic as murdering him in his sleep would have been, I'm glad we don't have to. I'm confused. The look on your face does not match the words you just said. Come on, you can't be this obtuse. Tell me Graham wasn't working alone. He couldn't have. Void take his agreement. He stood by and let it happen. This feels like one of those times when everyone at headquarters but me is laughing at something, but you two aren't laughing. Amber Heights, you hallhead. Ten years ago, Graham had all those people killed. What? That's not possible. Even for him, that's going too far. But that means... I had no idea, I swear. Look, we were both fed up with corporate leadership, but I, I never guessed he'd do something like that. I think he's being truthful, Captain. I feel it in my gut. Kind of nauseous, but ticklish. You can't take bureaucrats at their word. You back someone into a corner like this, and they'll say anything to get out of it. I... Okay, okay. You're right. Sorry. It'll take me a while to get over losing Graham. You know, I felt the same way years ago, when he first left. You know, there was something magnetic about him that lets you ignore the things you didn't want to see. But surely you know what that's like. Yeah, I... I do. Okay, if you're willing to house and supply some of us, I'll have our more capable soldiers help out. As am I. Oh, I can feel my blood pressure lowering already. Thanks for coming out, Sanjar. I, uh, guess I'll see you at Stellar Bay. Never doubted you for a minute, boss. <laughs> 